Hello and welcome back to our house. I'm Tammy Myrop, Huntington High School art teacher, and this is Jara. Jara. Jara is helping me today by being my cameraman. So for today's project, I'm going to be doing a a piece using a blow dryer. So you will need to have a blow dryer on hand. I have pre-mixed my paints. I've got a bright pink, a blue, turquoise. I'm not using that black. That's left over from something else. I'm gonna flood my canvas with white, and I also have a purple. It has been pre-mixed with the mixture of glue and water. 70% glue, 30% water, this, a generous squirt of paint in there. And we are also going to be adding some silver. So I'm gonna flood my canvas first. I'm just basically coating it in white. I want to make sure I have a good layer. I'm not going to be using the white in the other parts, so I'm going to scrape out everything so I don't waste it. And then I'm just going to spread this out. All over the So unlike a normal pour where you're going to make puddles or swirls, we're going to run all these down through the middle because we're going to blow it out with a dryer. And I'm going to start with my darker colors. They are so precise. You got straight under it. So nice. In between. You're good at this. And so my metallic, I'm gonna put on last. So if you choose a silver or a gold, you're gonna to wanna to put that on at the top. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna take the blow dryer on cool. I'm just gonna come in here and blow it out. The way you're holding that. really cool. <laughs> Can we just stay there? All right. So, um, I kind of want some of these spaces over here to be blown out a little bit. So, rather than um, blow it anymore with the blow dryer, I'm just going to move this right here because it kind of... The mouth blew. I got a little close to the canvas. And I just want to cover up where I drug it across there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat and see if I can't cause some different kind of reactions here. Mama's getting the torch. Smells terrible. No, it 
Okay, so I didn't really like the way the edges were before. And so what I've done is I'm taking a straw and I'm just blowing along the edges to create more of a ruffled effect to make it look more like um, a flower or something floral. So you're just gonna take your straw, let me scoot this over just a little bit, and you're going to blow and move your straw as you're blowing. Gives it more of an organic floral. And I kind of want to see that silver, so I'm spreading it out a little bit. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn it again. Oh, turn it this way. Trying to find the best angle. <laughs> then we'll leave it right there. All right. Pink is a little edge out, but it's hard. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Oh, I like how that pink popped through right there. Yeah, that's cool. And I like how it comes off the edge a little bit. Let's see, anything else? Maybe right here a little bit? Maybe hit that spot. Which spot? Um, here? Yeah. Kind Maybe of in the middle? try to blow that away so you can get some other stuff. There. So you don't want the big, just big blow of that teal. How about that? Better? I don't think that's bad. I think that's good. Pretty nice. And there's one spot right here I want to fix. Again, yeah, be careful when you're moving it around because you could mess it is up. thick and it will move. Hmm. Hang on, I can't really get the right angle on this. <laughs> How many times can I move it? Well, I'm trying to get it to where I can blow on it from the right direction. Pretty sure we're about to get squirt along the ridges first. All right. Good. We hope that you enjoyed watching this and maybe you'll try it at home. Thank you for being here with us and we'll see you again on the next video. Uh, again, I'm Tammy Myrup and this is Jira. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell.